With the Five Nights at Freddy's movie release in a few months, we see Mike Schmidt as the main protagonist of the film. Now, the movie's not out yet, and the character from the film and the character from the game series could be completely different or changed slightly. Nonetheless, clues from the trailer are very interesting to gather. For a start, having a sister named Abby and a sibling he could be affiliated with from the small looks of the trailer we've gotten so far, it seems that the importance of this character from the film could closely align with premises we see Michael Afton take on in the game's version of the Finance of Freddy's timeline. To give a very short recap, Michael Afton is the son of William Afton, the main antagonist of the Finance of Freddy's series. While his motives aren't directly stated, we can assume that he's trying to bring down his father and fix the mistakes of his past, stemming from the bite of 83 and the death of the crying child. Being the main protagonist of the franchise, a fan favorite, and perhaps could be a prominent character in the upcoming movie, people want to know his significance and importance in each game in the series. So when is Michael Afton present as the main protagonist we play as in every Five Nights at Freddy's title? Let's find out. Mike Schmidt is the name of the person we play as in the first entry of the Five Nights at Freddy's series shown at the end of the game when he's rewarded with his paycheck. Other than Mike being a nickname for Michael, the concrete evidence supporting this is what the survival logbook brings in. Trust me, this book is going to be referenced quite a bit. The survival logbook is owned by Mike Schmidt, as it says on the first page of the book. If the survival logbook has references to the events of Sister Location, specifically mentioning Clara from The Immortal and the Restless, and we know for a fact that Michael Afton is the one we play as during Sister Location's events, then these characters must be connected. Mike is also fired at the end of FNAF 1 for both tampering with the animatronics and bad odor. Other than being a funny joke, this would line up with him trying to undo his father's wrongs and his decaying purple corpse probably smelling pretty bad. So yes, it's believed that we do play as Michael in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Jeremy Fitzgerald is the name we're prompted with at the end of the game. This is where things get a little tricky. There's seemingly no evidence connecting Jeremy to Michael Afton other than the fact that Michael would probably want to work there, especially coming from the theory that Jeremy could have been the victim in the Bite of 87. So from night one to six, we probably don't play as Michael. However, we also play as another character in Finance Freddy's 2, that being of Fritz Smith. Fritz is the main night guard in Five Nights at Freddy's 2's custom night on night 7 of the game. We know this due to the pink slip we get after completing this night. Look familiar? It's because the same reasons on the pink slip are given again for being fired in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, both tampering with the animatronics and poor odor. This being the same person for Five Nights at Freddy's 1 would make a lot of sense then. Also, Smith and Schmidt kind of sound similar, but you know. But is night 7 of FNAF 2 even canon? And why would Michael potentially be fired after the events of FNAF 2's Night 6, with the location being closed down and all? So maybe you play as Michael? Maybe you don't? There's really not too much other than that to go off of. So we don't even know the name of the Night Guard in Finance of Freddy's 3. But to me at least, it doesn't really make sense for it not to be Michael Afton. The player actively sees visions of both Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and Five Nights at Freddy's 2 animatronics. And if we're going off of the belief that Michael is Fred Smith, that would line up pretty well. He's seeing visions of animatronics that had used to haunt him during the nights he spent working there. It would make more sense than being any other random night guard from a story perspective. Also, the attraction burning down at the end of the game could be Michael trying to make an attempt at William's life, actively starting a fire to try and bring the story to a close. But we learn that he wasn't so successful. After all, he always comes back. Some people also think this could have been Henry Emily, solely based on trying to burn the remaining Freddy's locations down, and hopefully William with it. So while there is some evidence backing this up, we can realistically play as anyone but I think the player being Michael makes more sense from a narrative standpoint. Now, this one might be the one that's most confusing. Finance of Freddy's 4 takes place in a child's room, and we play as the crying child in the minigames after each night. So you'd assume that this could be happening in real time, and the bite victim is going through this every night. But the survival logbook seems to say otherwise. 
So the logbook seems to imply that Michael is at least one of the protagonists of Finance of Freddy's 4. With what we said before and Mike Schmidt owning the book, we see a page that details what previous dreams he had had previously. And there it is, drawn in red ink, Nightmare Fredbear is illustrated for us in the book. How else could Michael know about him? To add to this, an easter egg found in Finance of Freddy's 4 references the phone call from the first night of Finance of Freddy's 1. something only Michael would have heard. I like the theory that both of William's sons had experienced the events of Finance Freddy's 4, but the logbook definitely wants to confirm that at least Michael experienced Night 5 in particular, with Nightmare Fredbear being there and all. This is especially confusing since the game itself is trying to tell us is the crying child with easter eggs such as pill bottles or hospital equipment by his bed. It's almost as confusing as trying to make sense of the Midnight Motorist minigame. <laughs> so while it's not very clear, Michael must have experienced something close to the events of Finance of Freddy's 4, making it seem like, yes, we do play as him. FNAF World? No. We play as Freddy. See? That's Freddy. Yes, we do play as Michael in FNAF's sister location. This was actually the place where we learned the, while unclear, motives behind Michael Afton. Due to his speech at the end of the custom night, Michael had definitely been scooped and replaced by Baby slash Ennard, so this has to be who we play as. Furthermore, references from the survival logbook suggest that Mike Schmidt is addicted to The Mortal and the Restless, a TV show we see him watch after every single night. And in sister location, there are connections to the name Mike plastered on Hanyun. Specifically interesting because Hanyun asked for what name we want to choose at the start of the game as well. So yes, we definitely play as Michael Afton in Sister Location. This is another game that definitely hints at Michael being the main protagonist again. Henry's speech at the end of the game says that I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. Suggesting that the player is someone important to the series' events. Not to mention that many of the voices heard after the jump scare insinuate this as well. To see. It also makes sense for Michael to continue to track down both William and Elizabeth after his speech in Sister Location's custom night. So yes, I'm 99% sure that we do play as Michael Afton in Pizzeria Simulator. Definitely not. It's pretty outright that this game is a personal hell for William, after all the trouble he's caused throughout the series. Multiple animatronics seemed outright despise him, and the one you should not have killed is mentioned quite a lot. This game is a manifestation of that same person, tormenting the player with ambushes of animatronics that you personally constructed. If it's not outright confirmed, it's definitely implied to be William Afton. So no, you don't play as Michael Afton in Ultimate Custom Night. So while there are a few more Five Nights at Freddy's games on the list, it's heavily implied that Michael Afton is dead due to the events of Pizzeria Simulator after Henry's speech, as his mission would have been completed by then, trying to fix his father's and his own wrongdoings. This would mean that he is not playable in both Help Wanted or Security Breach, unless you believe that Glamrock Freddy could be the spirit of Michael Afton or something like that. I won't dwell too much on that due to the lack of confirmation from anything so far, but things can definitely change. It seems that much of Scott's storytelling is coming from later versions of their book series, Tales from the Pizzaplex, so we'll have to wait and see. Michael is definitely a fan favorite character, and his existence probably creates an opposing threat to William's plans, almost a hero of this story. As I stated before, a lot of this is speculation. Without mentioning Sister Location, none of the other games directly confirm that Michael Afton is the one we play as especially with his lack of existence in things like the Finance of Freddy's character encyclopedia. It seems that Scott Cawthon probably doesn't want to confirm who we play as in each Finance of Freddy's game, as to not confirm or deny any theories. I'm looking at you, FNAF 4. But that's probably a good thing. To remove the element of mystery behind who we play in these games kind of makes them feel special to me. Almost like I'm personally the night guard at this location, and I'm trying to defend myself for that sweet, sweet paycheck. Wait, how much am I getting paid again? Oh yeah, never mind. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be 
trying to post more often on this channel. If you think I may have got something wrong, clarification in the comments would be greatly appreciated. I'll make sure to pin or like that comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care.